Are you looking for a great way to spice up your weeknight? Yeah? Well, I have it for you. On our Flavor It Week, we're flavoring something new every night. And today we have hanger steak. I know I've said before that skirt steak is my favorite, and it's true, but hanger steak is a close second. I have a great, simple crust to make for it. It's three ingredients to fantastic flavor. To start your rub, take a bag, make sure it's nice and thick, and measure two tablespoons of whole coriander seed into the bag. Close it up. Take a can or a small pan and crush the coriander seeds as best you can. It doesn't have to be completely fine. You're not grinding them up here. You're making a crust. Use a little elbow grease. Don't be lazy. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to me. And make sure your bag is thick enough. Otherwise, you're going to break through your bag. Once it's nice and crushed up, add two whole bay leaves. Smell them. Make sure they smell good. If they don't smell good, they're not gonna taste good. Crumble them up and then add them to the coriander. If you have a spice grinder, use your spice grinder. Just don't get it too fine. When you crumble the bay leaf, all of the oils are released. It smells so good. Piney almost. And in combination with the coriander, which is a little bit lemony, kind of fantastic. Four teaspoons of black pepper. Kind of coarsely ground. Mix that together. There's your crust. It's done. That's it. That's all the flavor you need. Put that on your steak. Half on each side, sort of press it on. The key to a rub like this is high impact ingredient. The more high impact your ingredient, the less ingredients you need. Another way you can do it is put your rub onto a tray, spread them out, and then just press your steak into the crust. That way you get a nice, even coating. Turn it over once or twice, and then just spread it all over there with your hands. Don't be afraid to just rub it, really rub it in there. You can do this up to 24 hours ahead. Keep it in the refrigerator. It'll just get better with time. But the great thing about it is you can also cook it right away. Season it with salt. Ooh, too much. Don't use that all. I just like to pour some into my hand and then sprinkle from there so I'm not getting my steaky hands all over the salt bowl. Medium high grill and then just lightly oil your grill or grill pan, whichever you're using. Yes, it's gonna smoke, don't worry. Then you can put your steak on. About eight minutes per side, med rare. This is pretty thick, it might take a little bit longer. Been about eight minutes, ready to turn. Ooh, <coughs> hot pepper, <laughs> help. The cooking spices are very aromatic. That's all I have to say. Cover it up. It'll help it cook more evenly. Eight more minutes. Eight minutes. Hanger steak feels really, really spongy, even when it's getting to be like medium rare. So you, you wanna use an instant read thermometer, go ahead. You should let this rest for about 10 minutes. I'll just stand here and wait. I've waited long enough. It's done enough for me. When you let any steak rest, it allows the juices to redistribute. So it's nice and rosy pink throughout instead of having like an intense pink in the center and a kind of gray on the outside. So you want to slice steak across the grain generally. And I'm noticing as I'm cutting this, because I'm going the way that I normally do, that there's actually two grains and they're going in different directions. Hanger steak is divided down the center by a seam. If you cut down along those, that seam, then you can cut across the grain in two different ways. This one you want to cut lengthwise. You can actually cut across the grain. And this one, the grain's going this way, so you can cut it this way. But that's getting awfully technical. It's a little weird. You can just cut it across the way that you normally would, but if you really want to cut across the grain, you're gonna to have to do that. Five minutes of work, a lifetime of flavor. Try it tonight. You don't even have an excuse not to try it. It's that easy. Mm, I like it.